The death penalty remains on the table in the case against the man accused of kidnapping and killing the Lyon sisters. Lloyd Lee Welch was in court today for a motions hearing. WSLS 10 to Angela Hatcher sat in on that hearing and joins us now live outside the Bedford County Courthouse. So Angela, why did the judge throw out the defense motion to prohibit the death penalty? Well, Judge James Updike did not take the death penalty off the table, despite the defense arguing that it doesn't apply to the statute that was in place in 1975 that Welch is charged under. The judge dealt the defense another blow when he ruled Welch's statements cannot be used against him. Judge Updike ruled Welch breached a provision of an immunity agreement with a Maryland state's attorney. It required him to be truthful, candid, and complete when talking to investigators. In a January 6th opinion letter, Judge Updike said the agreement at face value was valid and enforceable, but today he excused the Commonwealth from any contractual obligation due to Welch lying and changing his story over and over in a series of interviews with those investigators. Prosecutors say in his first interview that Welch claimed to only have seen a man he recognized but whose name he did not know put the Lion sisters in a car. But that Welch's story, it did eventually evolve and change until he eventually admitted that he was in a car with the two sisters and two of his relatives, that he saw one of the girls being dismembered, that he helped clean the basement where the girl was murdered, and drove to Virginia to dispose of the remains. And in denying the defense motion, the judge cleared the way for the jury to hear those statements at trial. His trial is set for April 18th. Live in Bedford, Angela Hatcher, WSLS 10.